Hi all, let's look at another amazing game of Leela Chess. This is against Goal in the Chess Com Blitz Battle 2018, which is a five minute with two second increment time control. E4 from Goal, we have the Sicilian defense, Knight F3, D6, D4, C takes D4, Queen takes D4, slightly unusual there. So this has this is actually a very popular move as an alternative to Knight takes D4. We have Knight F6, Knight c3. Now knight c6 gaining a tempo. Queen d3. g6. Bishop e2. Bishop g7. Both sides castle. Knight d5. And now knight d7. So that unveils this bishop here on the b2 pawn. It also provides support for knight c5. Uh, if Leela had taken on d5. This position is roughly even. It doesn't really promise too much. So in a way, this is playing for a win. It's it's maintaining the tension. It's uh, keeping the complexity. So c3, that gives the queen a retreat square and also facilitates the bishop moving to, say, e3. If the bishop had gone to e3 here, for example, then bishop takes b2 there's no compensation for white there so it's blunts this bishop on g7 as well so c3 we have knight c5 and the queen drops back to c2 facilitated by that e6 kicking the knight back and now a very energetic f5 leader is not only trying to increase the number of center pawns here but also potentially gain a very important attacking file Gull actually takes this and after G takes you see that in theory in theory this could be a nice motorway or road for resources to travel to the White King later in the meantime though Rook D1 there is some tactical pressure here on the Black Pawn Center we see Queen E7 uh, Knight F1 as if saying come and get me and Leela is obliging with King H8 preparing the use of that road Knight g3. It looks pretty solid though, these two knights. At the moment, it looks as though white's controlling the key squares and also has possibilities of exposing black maybe with knight h5, getting rid of this potentially important bishop. Is Leela worried? Actually, Leela plays f4, inviting knight h5. Another f4 is hit, supports the f4 pawn. So white has the option now of knight takes g7. We have b4. If knight takes g7 immediately, queen takes. Uh, this is actually possible, even though d6, you might think, is hanging. This position looks actually very good. For example, like this, with that g file really coming alive here. Yeah. And yeah, this is very dangerous if white has to give up the exchange. Uh, yeah, it's just a very, very dangerous position. It can't actually be that good for white this scenario for example like this it's pretty crushing actually black's going to have a big advantage so we have b4 not accelerating black's use of the g file just yet bishop f5 and now queen b2 the queen is being pushed around here probably the queen didn't want to go to d2 because of knight e4 knight e4 anyway protecting d6 depriving the d2 square for the queen yeah if the knight had retreated then perhaps knight takes queen takes this position as rook takes d6 and actually here black can afford this it seems technically to get a good position in any case even in this line black has a small edge so maybe uh, this is it looks possible on king takes actually then queen d2 this position is potentially okay for white actually quite comfortable for white so slightly different configurations so anyway the knight actually went to e4 we have knight takes queen takes knight e1 white does look very passive this open road to the king looks pretty dangerous 
at least for humanoid, but it's it's the proof of the pudding. Can it actually be proven here? Rook f6, starting an alignment process. Bishop c4. Uh, on bishop d3, this doesn't do too much. For example, knight e7. This position should be fine, <laughs> more than fine for black. Black having a big advantage, piling out the pressure on the g-file. So bishop c4 at least takes away the g8 square for a rook, it seems. Knight g5, b5, knight e7, king h1, rook a, f8, b6. This seems a bit strange because it can be taken now and white can't really take this back. As an alternative, black's brewing things up anyway. Say f3, this looks like a strong attacking build-up here in any case as, as this this looks like a here is a disaster scenario for example so things are getting really dangerous by this point of b6 but it seems a bit weird because of the taking white cannot actually take on b6 if takes then d5 hits the queen and the bishop so that's no good there'll be no, no compensation there to speak of so white follows up with f3 Okay, so we have rook h6 just building up the pressure anyway. a4, queen g6, rook d2, bishop drops back to d7. This is just a very favourable position actually. Queen h5 is also simple and strong. For example, this is, is clearly not desirable for white, particularly black can really find ways to crash through here example like this it's just a fictional continuation uh, so we have bishop d7 king g1 not too dissimilar to the game though the blacks building up here and the knights look lethal so even though the bishop's gone it doesn't really matter blacks really not in a position to really tap into the dark square weaknesses with these guys <laughs> just like spectator pieces over here and these knights just look absolutely menacing so go is you know believe it or not you might might not think so but gull is on certain engine rating this top 15 in the world and it just looks like a beautiful attacking position has been kind of easily created here with menacing threats we have king f1 uh on a5 then queen takes h2 check knight g3 is check mate so king f1, the evacuation begins. Knight e3 check, takes, takes. Rook e2, queen takes h2. And now the big threat is mate on h1 here. So if knight c2, for example, queen h1 is checkmate. So rook takes e3, which loses material to simply queen f4. Direction is taken now to hit, to double attack these two poor pieces. That wins material and basically the game, the bishop drops. Gull has been basically hacked in this game. And Gull gi did give that G file to Leela. It seems as though classical engines, well, outside of the top five especially, they seem not to be that aware of king safety sometimes. So anyway, the game continues. It's a bishop up for Leela really. And it's played to the death this game. So bishop takes here, yeah, because the, that was exposing a an attack on the queen here. So it didn't matter about this one so much. Yes, and the game continues a little bit. And mating that is starting to be woven. Check, mate. So yeah, Leela made that attack look quite easy comfortable there was no, no real danger on the queen side uh the, the loss of the g7 bishop seemed inconsequential there's nothing to really exploit that they say weaknesses are only weaknesses if they if they're right if they are exploitable but uh it was just in a theoretical sense really so uh if you enjoyed this game as much as me please click uh, the top left box which should appear soon to play uh, other youtubers at chessworld.net 
there's my reference code on that uh, you can also uh, check out analysis of these videos in advance from the improve menu learn from the masters uh, so sometimes I do analysis updates to check out okay comments questions likes shares subscribes all welcome thanks very much